Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to compute a confidence interval for two proportions using the TI-84. So if we just skip to the last sentence here, it says find a 90% confidence interval for P1 minus P2. So that's a confidence interval for two proportions. So first let's just go into the calculator and I'll show you where to go. Then we'll read the question and then just type everything in. So the first thing you want to do is press the button here that says STAT. So we want to press STAT. Then we want to go over to TESTS. So we'll, we will use the right arrow key and navigate our way there. So we want to go down to something that says um, proportion, interval, and two sample. So these are tests. These are hypothesis tests. Here we have Z interval, T, two sample, T interval, there it is, true proportion, Z interval, right there. So this will give us a confidence interval for two proportions. So again, we go to stat, then you go over to tests, and then just navigate your way down until you find true proportion, Z interval, then press enter. Okay, so we have to find X1, N1, X2, N2. So X1 is the successes, N1 is the observations, likewise with X2 and N2. So a sample of 375 married couples showed that 132 of them had three personality preferences in common. So 132 is the successes, and 375 is the observations, because success is having three personality preferences. 375 is like the total number of people, that's the sample size. The next sentence is the same, another sample of 571 couples, that'll be our n sub 2, and then our x sub 2 would be 217. Then it goes on just to clarify that P1 is the proportion of all married couples with three personality preferences, and P2 is the proportion of all couples with two personality preferences. So just it's just emphasizing that the first thing you read is the ones, and the second thing you read is the twos. The confidence level is 90, so let's go ahead and enter that down here. Then we go down to calculate and then just press enter. And there is the confidence interval. I hope this video has been helpful.